A Senate report details former President Donald Trump's failed attempts to overturn the 2020 election results. Those findings suggest an elaborate scheme involving the Department of Justice and other Trump administration officials. Our Allison Harris is also in Washington this morning. Allison, the broad outlines of what took place after the election have been known for quite some time now, but this involves uh, hundreds of pages of documents and interviews that we are just now finding out about. That's right, Adrian. This is the most comprehensive report that we have to date on what former President Trump, his administration, and allies of his in the Republican Party did to try to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. It is a 400-page report released by the Senate Judiciary Committee. It's the culmination of an eight-month-long investigation. It states that former President Trump directly and repeatedly asked DOJ leadership to denounce the election as corrupt in phone calls and in meetings in the Oval Office. It states that his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, asked the acting attorney general to initiate election fraud investigations. It also states that allies of the president continually pressured the DOJ to launch these investigations, including the former president forcing the resignation of one U.S. attorney to then name another U.S. attorney that he believed would, quote, do something to investigate these claims of election fraud. This report, in summary, details a president who was taking extreme measures to stay in the White House leading up to the insurrection at the Capitol. The chair of the Judiciary Committee said saying that the U.S. was a half step away from a constitutional crisis. This president, former President Donald Trump, would have shredded the Constitution to keep his office in the presidency. And these claims of election fraud have been discredited. They have been debunked. There have been lawsuits and audits, none of which have found evidence of widespread election fraud. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley released a GOP version of these findings, which some of the report as President Trump listened to his advisors, he fo followed their recommendations. Now, meanwhile, investigations continue. The House Select Committee that's investigating January 6th and that attack on the Capitol has subpoenaed organizers of the Stop the Steal rally as well as two top Trump White House officials. And this morning, Adrian, we are learning that former President Trump, he plans not to respond to those subpoenas, invoking executive privilege to prevent testimony from his former aides at the White House. 